Uh, Robbie, just expand on you know the play of the front court today, and just how effective they those guys yeah. were. Yeah, those guys, uh, Chris, Laron, and, and Rico, uh, they did a great job up front, finishing around the rim, uh, rebounding. We had, we had a number of uh, like traffic offensive rebounds that those guys got just from uh, tremendous effort uh, at Vaughn to the to the front court guys, and um, you know I thought we did a really good job in, in that area for sure. I think it was one of the big differences in the game. Yeah, and uh, what can you say about uh, how you guys handled their really physical defense? They were kind of really getting aggressive, a lot of fouls early. What do you think you guys did to kind of not turn it into a football game? Yeah, I mean, we just need to move the basketball and be strong with the ball. Uh, you know, I'm looking at the stat sheet. We had too many turnovers, um, and and we've been a great free throw shooting team, and we didn't shoot them well tonight. But that, that I'm not worried about the turnovers, so we just got to be smarter with the basketball because – as you mentioned, they're a really physical team and they're going to try to take you out of things. And we just have to make sure that we're able to keep our composure uh, and make simple plays because, as you guys have mentioned, like Chris and Claron and, and Rico on top of the rim along with our guards, uh, we, we were able to finish there when we, when we were able to take care of the basketball. So uh, just continuing to get better in that area. Yeah, and like you said, a, a really long break for you guys coming up. What are the yeah. biggest things that you guys want to work on and how can you just stay focused throughout this this uh, two weeks. Yeah. About two weeks well, break. first is obviously the school part, right? We've got to make sure that everybody's taking care of what they need to this week with finals and, and papers and exams and tests. So the, we'll take a couple days off for that. Um, we're, we're going to have an inner squad scrimmage one of these days with officials to try to make sure that we stay sharp. Um, and then just cleaning up some of the simple things that, that we're going to see from this game and what we've seen now over 10 games, we have 10 games plus two scrimmages. So we have a 12 game, you know, uh, you know, body of work. So, okay, these are the things we need to improve upon. How are we going to go attack that? So that, that stuff the coaches will, will focus on and then, you know, try to make sure that our players, you know, see those things. Coach, uh, today and some past games, being able to go about 10 deep, uh, can you just talk about having the depth that you do have that you're able to rotate guys in and out and keep everyone fresh? Yeah. Well, Rico's played great here for a while. He's continuing to get better and better in the front court. He's only a sophomore. Um, and last year he barely played at all. There were a lot of games that, that he didn't play, you know, that he didn't even check into the game. So I think he's continuing to get better. Uh, you know, Brendan, Ty, Julius, uh, those three guys, it's it's continuing to, to get reps and continuing when you're on the court to be productive. Uh, productive doesn't always mean scoring. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times productive means you know rotating and getting a deflection. Um, you know Reggie uh, has continued to get better um, and get more comfortable. Again, there's a lot of things from a from a how we play standpoint that he's got to continue to grow on. He's he's only a sophomore as well, so. Um, I think our team has room to continue to get better as these guys continue to improve and show that they can be consistent uh, in, in their spot. So uh, we do have a lot of good players. So sometimes that's hard to, to get guys minutes when, you, you know, the other guys are playing well too. So, uh, you know, there's a balance there and we've got to continue. I've got to continue to develop the depth of the team. Any other questions for Coach? Safe, please? Yep. Uh, obviously, great to get another win, uh, get a, get a win at home, get a win heading into finals week. We're off for for a number of days here now, so uh, it's great to get that that win. We played very very well, obviously, again in the first half. A little sloppy in the second half, but things that I think we can continue to get better at. And uh, it's a good team that we play. A team that's uh, you know they're they're not going to give up, and uh, give them credit for that. And uh, really happy with the way that uh, we got to win these guys. Our front court did great all night, uh, but as did everybody who stepped on the court. So it's a really good win for us. And uh, we're looking forward to the challenges ahead uh, later in this month. I'll let you ask questions for these guys. Let's open up with questions, Mike. Um, Chris, 18 points, 20 rebounds, just a, a monster game for you. Just how were you, how were you feeling out there you know, and being as effective as you were? Um, well, personally, I don't think I got off to the best start uh, defensively. Like, there was a couple plays in the beginning where I just didn't take the right angle or um, I 
and then like make the right decision. And uh, Austin got pulled for it, and I had to—I mean, I just had to sit down and like recalibrate. And I went out there, got a couple rebounds, looked up, saw I had seven, and I told myself how many more can we get? And then thirteen more. So yeah, I don't know. Just felt good. I mean, obviously, like when you're in the rhythm like that, I mean, you just got to keep playing hard. And that's just what I tried to do. Cleon, how how important was it for the for the big guys to really establish things early on? Uh, the way you guys did today? Uh, very important. I feel like um, we're, we're getting better and better from a confidence side. Uh, the more, uh, I wouldn't even say shots, just the more looks or just the more plays we make, uh, the more the better we go play. Uh, no matter what play it is, if you're shooting the ball, rebounding the ball, blocking the shot, you get confidence from it. So we just keep going, feeding off, off each other and off the plays we make. So. When you see the work does, Chris does on the boards. What goes through your mind when you see him being as effective as he is? Turn me up, you feel me? Like me seeing CP do those things make me want to go do the same things, and you feel me? Make me want to do them. Go harder. So we try to just feed off each other. And, uh, and uh, Chris, uh, talking about the rebounding again, it really seems like something you kind of hang your hat on and really take it personal to just get every rebound you can get. Is that kind of how it is? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, usually before every game during the uh, national anthem, I'll just like kind of close my eyes and think about like two or three things that I have to do. And uh, today, one of them was rebounding. Um, obviously, defending, rebounding, and uh, just being aggressive on offense. Uh, I, obviously, I know if I'm aggressive, I can make plays for everybody else. And uh, I think I did a good job of that tonight. I made a couple bad decisions with the ball, but um, obviously, I can clean those up, look at film, and see what decisions I need to make. Yeah, and then Clarana, we've seen a ton of growth in your post moves, uh, especially this year. How much have you worked on that, and how big has that been for you? Um, it's been big. I said it, I, I've worked on it a lot, but the almost uh, important thing is just confidence. The more confidence I play with, the better I play. So as long as I'm playing with confidence, I feel like I can do anything on the basketball court. Uh, Claron, you know, seven for seven from the field today. Um, Knowing that you know maybe the offense doesn't run through you as much as maybe some of the other guys, mm -hmm. when you do get those opportunities to succeed like that, can you just kind of talk about that? Uh, I just try to make the plays, finish the plays. You know, when the ball comes to me, I know it's either I'm either going to pass it or I'm going to shoot it. So I usually try to predetermine what I'm going to do before I kind of see the plays before uh, the ball actually gets to me. So I kind of already know what I'm going to do before like the ball actually really gets to me. And then either Chris or Claron, uh, you guys combined for almost as many rebounds as Cleveland State had as a team. Uh, can you just talk about the doing that and kind of demoralizing your op opponent? You know, that's Cleveland State basketball. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt. Um, I mean, coming to the season, um, obviously, you know, that's something that we've done well before I even knew what Kent State was. And uh, I mean, that's kind of something that we have to carry on regardless of whether we feel good, whether we you know, a little banged up or not. Like that's something that we got to do. Um, personally, I feel like we've got the best front court in the MAC, but um, you know, we got to continue to prove that. And we can't just say that and not back it up. So, you know, we got to keep doing it. Thanks, guys. Any more questions for our student athletes?